The music industry has seen its fair share of scandals, and the latest rumors swirling around Beyoncé are no exception. Despite her pristine reputation, some people are now speculating that Queen Bey has been secretly addicted to hard drugs, given to her by none other than her own husband, Jay-Z. Jaguar Wright, a well-known celebrity whistleblower, recently dropped a bombshell when she claimed in an interview She is not her husband's wife, she is his employee. that Jay-Z is controlling Beyoncé through her drug addiction. But is there any truth to these shocking allegations? But is there any truth to these shocking allegations? While Beyoncé has remained silent on the matter, it's clear that there's more to this story than meets the eye. With so many secrets and behind-the-scenes drama, it's no wonder why people are buzzing about this scandal. So what really happened? And how will Beyoncé respond? Stay tuned to find out more. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel now and get the latest updates. Let's start. Jaguar Wright, a celebrity whistleblower with a reputation for spilling the tea on various stars, recently dropped a bombshell when she claimed that Jay-Z was using drugs to control Beyoncé. She went on to accuse Jay-Z of giving her hard drugs, an allegation that has sent shockwaves throughout the music industry. But are these rumors true? Why has Jay-Z been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. And I'm not he's a monster if he is. And how does Bianchi feel about them? So far, the singer has remained tight-lipped on the matter, leaving her fans to wonder if there's any truth to these shocking allegations. Jaguar's allegations have gained momentum, with fans and activists urging Beyoncé to break her silence and speak out against her alleged captivity. They have even proposed a campaign similar to the Free Britney movement to be launched on her behalf. It is official, the conservatorship of Britney Spears has been terminated. Freedom for Britney Spears is still ongoing. Adding more fuel to the fire, a former bodyguard of Beyoncé's has now come forward with charges identical to those made by Jaguar, further deepening the story. Yeah, Beyoncé is on drugs, he said. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. But I say, man, yeah, Beyoncé is on drugs. She's been on them for a long time. And you keep her that way. Uncle Ron, a former celebrity bodyguard, has been stirring up social media with his allegations about some of the biggest names in the music industry. And now, he's turned his attention to Beyoncé, claiming that she's been using drugs and that her husband, Jay-Z, is the one responsible. But that's not all. Uncle Ron has also accused P. Diddy of involvement in Biddy Small's death and claimed that Jay-Z also played a role in it. He even claims to have evidence to support his accusations and has been sharing it with his followers. Jay-Z and Puffy wanted Biggie killed bottom line. You don't have to believe me. However, some people are skeptical of Uncle Ron's claims, pointing out that a video in which he made these allegations was taken down after a few days. This has led some to wonder if Beyoncé and Jay-Z had a hand in having the video removed. But Uncle Ron isn't backing down. He's doubled down on his claims, insisting that he has evidence to back them up. And he's not just making vague statements, he's even name-dropping the person whose career Beyoncé allegedly ended, Carrie Hilson. Carrie Hilson's Turning Me On was a popular track that was included on her first proper album, In a Perfect World. But the feud began when some fans misinterpreted the lyrics as a personal attack on Beyoncé. Although Beyoncé wasn't specifically named in the song, some listeners took certain lines from Turning Me On as a personal attack, the disputed lyrics that sparked the feud. Were. Your vision cloudy if you think that you're the best. You can dance. She can sing but need to move it to the left. She's saying she needs to go have some babies. She needs to sit down. She faked them. Other chicks ain't even worth talking about. Carrie Hilson remained tight-lipped about the alleged diss track for years, but many believe that the lyrics tinted toward Beyoncé. Some took her comments about shifting it to the left as a slight towards Beyoncé, perhaps a nod to Beyoncé's Irreplaceable from 2006. The aftermath of the Carrie Hilson-Beyoncé feud was not kind to the R&B singer. She endured an unfathomable amount of vitriol from Beyoncé's devoted fans, many of whom took to social media to express their anger and frustration toward her. We're getting into some exciting stuff here, so if you're enjoying this video so far, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. In 2013, Carrie finally spoke out about the online harassment she was facing. Depression is hard to describe. Um, I knew that I was beside myself, and this was like at the peak taking to Twitter to vent her frustrations. You have no idea what your hateful words could do to someone's spirit, she wrote. Here's verbal abuse from strangers all day long. Enough is enough. It's been 10 long years since we last heard from Carrie Hilson, who withdrew from public view after receiving backlash from Beyonce's supporters in the aftermath of their feud. And now, with Uncle Ron's allegations about Beyonce's alleged drug use and Jay-Z's alleged control over her. But I say, man, yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time. 
and you keep her that way. Many are starting to wonder if there's more to the story than meets the eye. While some may question the validity of Uncle Ron's claims, others believe that Beyonce's public persona may be a little too well-crafted. After all, she's known for being a control freak who keeps a firm hand on both her personal and professional life. And while her dedication is certainly admirable, some may wonder if it's all part of an effort to maintain a certain image. In fact, in her recent album, Renaissance, Beyonce references drugs in the track, On That Girl, singing, You know love is my weakness, don't eat drugs for some freak, I'm just high all the time. But as Jagger Wright has pointed out, perhaps love isn't Bianca's weakness, maybe it's Jay-Z. He married her and he got to have control of the Houston rap scene behind the scenes, Matthew you know. And not in a good way. In a recent interview, Jagger Wright hinted that Jay-Z may not be as perfect as he seems and that he may have manufactured Beyonce's image. The relationship between Beyonce and Jay-Z has always been the subject of intense scrutiny, with many people wondering if there's more going on behind closed doors than meets the eye. In fact, some have drawn parallels between their relationship and that of R. Kelly and Alia, raising concerns about the power dynamics at play. One of the most controversial moments in their marriage was when Jay-Z was accused of adultery, prompting Beyoncé to write the song Lemonade and sparking the infamous Becky with the good hair controversy. And when Solange Knowles was caught fighting Jay-Z in the elevator, Some supporters feared that their marriage was on the rocks. But despite all of this, Beyoncé has been open about Jay-Z's influence on her life, including teaching her how to be a woman and a lady. However, some fans and critics have raised concerns about the power dynamics in their relationship, with some even accusing Jay-Z of grooming Beyoncé. In light of Uncle Ron's allegations about Beyoncé's alleged drug use and Jay-Z's alleged control over her, these concerns have only been amplified. And when Jay-Z's album dropped, featuring the remark, I said don't embarrass me instead of be mine, many people criticized it for implying an unfair power dynamic between the two. The rumors about Jay-Z's alleged relationship with Foxy Brown are certainly troubling, given the significant age gap between them at the time. However, it's important to note that Foxy has denied the rumors and that there's no concrete evidence to support them. Foxy dissing Jay-Z or Jay-Z dissing Foxy? Period. Jay and I come from nothing together. As for the allegations about Beyoncé's alleged drug use, it's hard to say for sure what's really going on. Some sources have indicated that she banned drug and alcohol use among her staff ahead of her rumored Renaissance tour, which would suggest that she's serious about avoiding temptation and maintaining a clean lifestyle. Additionally, it's clear that she takes her responsibilities seriously and cares deeply for the well-being of the people around her, as evidenced by her reported efforts to ensure the mental health of her staff. At the end of the day, only Beyoncé and Jay-Z know the truth about their relationship relationship and any potential issues that may be going on behind the scenes. While it's important to remain vigilant and pay attention to any signs of trouble, it's equally important to be cautious about jumping to conclusions or spreading baseless rumors. As always, we'll be keeping a close eye on this story as it develops. So, what do you think about these allegations surrounding Beyoncé and Jay-Z? Do you believe there's any truth to the rumors about drug use and control, or are they simply baseless claims? And what about their relationship in general? Do you have any concerns about the power dynamics at play? We want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this topic, so leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking content.